KOCO was on campus this morning for the first day of classes in the Middell School District. It's one of the first Oklahoma districts to restart the school year. We got a number of other local districts heading back to class tomorrow morning, and that includes the biggest in our area, Oklahoma City Public Schools. And it's also the first day tomorrow for students in Moore, Piedmont, Putnam City, Shawnee, and a number of smaller rural districts across Oklahoma. Mustang starts Friday, Yukon, Norman, and Edmond all head back next week. So you know, it's always a good reminder just to drive extra safe around school zones and bus stops when your district resumes. And we want to welcome you back now to our back to school guide. You know, as kids head back to class, what are your top concerns? I talked to parents from several districts to learn what's most important to them in the new school year. <laughs> from Guthrie to Deer Creek, Oklahoma City, Piedmont, we wanted to hear from parents with students in several school districts. So as your child heads back to school, mm -hmm. what would you say is your top concern right now? Top concern just because what's going on in the world is uh, safety. You know, you hear all these shootings at school, so that's one of my concerns. Not saying everybody thinks it won't happen to them, but it's been happening so often, so it's, that's at the top of my mind right now. I mean, safety is always a concern that's with the violence that goes on in our world today. It's always scary sending your kid to school. Shonda's stepdaughter will be a freshman at Deer Creek High School. Luckily, the school that my stepdaughter goes to, I think, is very safe. It's very secure, but um, it, it's always a concern. And already with my son, like I said, he's only three. I don't know if I want to send him to public school. I've considered homeschooling. I've considered, you know, a smaller private school that we have here in town. I just, the thought of sending him to public school is very worrisome for me. We met another mom who isn't just considering homeschooling, she's doing it. She says her elementary school kids won't be going back to Oklahoma City Public Schools this year. Instead, she enrolled them in Epic Charter School online. Um, I felt like I could do better um, than they did in public school with the teachers. With the low staff of teachers, teachers not being able to come up or I don't know, but my daughter, she just wasn't getting it. She says traditional public school was better for her older children who are now in college. The other one is in the back, okay, if you want to go get it. This Guthrie mom says her family moved to the smaller town for their kids. So as your children head back uh -huh. to school now, what would you say is your top concern? Making sure that I've got everything prepared. Yeah. Really is it. Um, there's not a whole lot of concern that comes. Uh, Guthrie really has things set and put together just the way that we need them. And it's a, it's a great town to raise kids in. Her youngest children are going into third and ninth grades. When it comes to school violence, is mm -hmm. that something that you worry about? Uh, it's not necessarily something that I worry about, no. Every, every day, you know, I worry about violence or someone coming in and doing harm to the children. A different story for this Lawton dad with kids in Flower Mound Elementary School. Locking all doors in the school, uh, camera system, security guard, armed security guards. There's no reason why every school should not have one. We talked to a dad whose son is going into Piedmont High School. He says communication is a big deal for him. What do you think your district is getting right when it comes to safety and security? Notifying us immediately. Uh, as soon as something happens, send out an email or text message so that we know, so that we're not seeing it on the news or we're not seeing it on Facebook or even TikTok nowadays with the kids. So a lot of talk about safety there. You know, safety was one of many topics we talked about with seven superintendents from around central Oklahoma this past week. The superintendent of the Middale School District said that it is a key part of their upcoming school bond. When we were doing surveys in the last year coming up to this point in community forums, safety and security was the number, number one issue. Fencing, secure perimeters, lighting, cameras, and all of that, but storm shelters as well. So that's all just the centerpiece of the bond election that we have coming up. We also talked to superintendents about some of the political accusations that have been thrown at public school teachers in Oklahoma. Everybody right here educates every kid that walks through the door. That, I think that's, that's where we are, and that's what we, I mean, if that's woke, then bring it, that's fine. Um, there has, we teach state standards. We teach state standards to every kid. We do the, we, we abide by the laws that the legislator, legislature passes. And a big question mark going into this school year, staffing. 
Where are we when it comes to hiring and keeping teachers? The teacher shortage is real. I mean, I remember the day in Norman when we had a, a pool of people for every single position. And currently, as certified teachers right now, we're, we're looking at about 45 openings uh, for teachers. And, just you know, in Norman? Just in Norman. It was a really good conversation, and you can catch that full roundtable on our KOCO app. It is free to download, and it's easy to use.